Watch the video clips. The chemical reactions record a drop in temperature. Chemical reactions that take in energy from the surroundings are called endothermic reactions. So what is an endothermic reaction? An endothermic reaction is a chemical reaction which takes in energy from the surroundings. Let's look at some examples of endothermic reactions. These are six examples of chemical reactions. Are the chemical reactions endothermic reactions? Yes, these are examples of endothermic reactions. When endothermic reactions occur, this energy change can often be detected as a temperature change. This means the products have a different energy content from the original reactants, as can be seen in the energy level diagram. The products contain more energy than the reactants because the reactants have gained some heat energy. The heat energy is taken in from the surroundings into the reactants during the formation of the products. The temperature of the surroundings drops as the endothermic reaction goes on. The difference between the energy levels of the reactants and products gives the overall energy change for the reaction. This heat change is denoted by delta H. Delta H is positive for endothermic reactions since energy is gained during the reactions and there is an increase in the energy content of the reactants. Most endothermic reactions are reactions that need to be heated so that energy is provided for the chemical change to take place. For example, thermal decomposition of calcium carbonate to calcium oxide and carbon dioxide. Photosynthesis